Dr. John Beeves is an associate professor in the School of Chemistry at UNSW, and he joins me now. Thank you so much for chatting to news.com.au. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks a lot. So when these uh, little black balls first washed up on Sydney's Coogee Beach last month, what did you think when you first saw the images on TV? Yeah, so I think we thought pretty much like everybody else that they looked like um, uh, tar balls. I mean, that's the most obvious thing for them to be. So probably something from an, uh, an oil leak somewhere from a tanker or, or something like that. That seemed to be the most reasonable thing that everybody thought. We thought obviously the, the same, but of course it didn't turn out to be uh, anything like that. They range in size. Some of the little ones were, you know, maybe 10 cent piece, something like that. And the larger ones are up to the size of a tennis ball. So there are a range of sizes. Some of them are really round and others lots of different lumpy sort of shapes. So I sort of described them as potato shaped because potatoes have all you know different types of lumpy shapes and sizes and things they're not all uh, perfectly round balls that are the same size they smell absolutely disgusting the outside of them isn't so bad but once you open them up the smell is really overpowering it's uh, disgusting sort of the consistency of something between like wet sand and blue tack or something they're sort of if they're not difficult to pull apart but they're a mixture of a lot of different things I think is the, the the main message so we looked at what's inside and we find things that are typical from cooking oils uh, and soaps so things you would expect to find in your house or in your bathroom or in your toilet and there's a little bit of uh, fossil fuel so things that look like diesel and there's a range of different compounds that are, that are in those things and then we found traces of other biomarkers of human waste and also recreational drugs heart medication uh, lots of things like this the sort of stuff you would expect to find in, in, uh, in a sewer which rec recreational drugs if i can ask that so we, we found traces of THC and methamphetamine and uh, lots of other heart medication and, and other things. Yeah. So what advice do you have for beachgoers if any other of these black balls wash up again in the future? Well, I, I certainly wouldn't touch them um, unless you want to be having hands that smell like a, um, well, don't smell very good. <laughs> And uh, obviously you wouldn't want to be ingesting them. I, I, I'm not an expert about the, like the toxicity or anything like that. We didn't find anything in the balls that really has frightening toxicity. It's more like just things that are uh, disgusting um, than things that are, going to, uh, that are going to kill you. But um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend ingesting them and I certainly wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't want to touch them if you could avoid it.